Look at my cut. <laughs> it's gross. Feel it. Feel it! Hey guys, it's Wyndham. I'm Cole. Hi. Wait, you were Zen Spaz last time. I, I wanted to go by my name. Hi guys, this is Wyndham Rice, also known as Wyndham. I'm, I'm Cole from the channel Zen Spaz. Woohoo! I'll put a link to his channel down below. And we're back for Video Wednesdays! And anyway, as a lot of you all know, Fallout 4 came out recently, and a lot of people were talking about the problems that they had with the fact that they couldn't stay home from school to play this new awesome game. So today, we figured that we would help you guys, you know, we'd, we'd teach you guys how to convince your mom that you're actually sick so you can stay home from school. <laughs> anyway, what's the first thing you can do? So the first sick? thing that you could do, I would say, is fill up your bathtub with like scalding hot water. And then tell her that you threw it up. A whole bathtub full of water. <laughs> she will be shocked. No, I was she saying, will be appalled. I was saying you can go and lay in the really, really hot water until your skin turns all pink and flushed and until your body temperature is real hot. And for those of you that aren't super pale, like her, whose skin does that when it gets hot, you can just actually get sick and then go to your mom and say, hey, I'm sick. And that way you aren't lying. Something else you can do is you can get a hair dryer and turn it up to full blast and make it real, real hot and then just like sit in front of it and just breathe in all the fumes and make your forehead all sweat. Something else you can do is just go to the CVS and get some Pepto-Bismol, maybe a little bit of NyQuil to help you in those tough nights when you can't sleep. And then you go and you take your medicine. Just take a medicine convinces people you're sick, because why would you take medicine if you're not sick? Well, that's a good point. You could be like, oh, mom, hey, and then just like chug the bottle of pepto If you're a drugman, <laughs> are you a drugman? You just said that you need to take medicine. If you're sick, you take medicine that makes people know you're sick. Okay, another thing that you could do is you could get some pepper and you could just throw it in your eye. But blinding yourself will get a pretty good, yeah. pretty good you effect. Like, Mom, I have pink eye. Mom, and I might. <laughs> Why not you I, I might need to go to the emergency room. Mom, there's a lot of stuff wrong with my eyes. I need help. <laughs> you could get some like mustard and like put it in the corner of your eyes, and it will look all crusty. That would sting worse than the pepper. That would get you pink eye. <laughs> that would get you real fat. Well, you know what else really gets you pink eye is when you get poop in your eye. If you want to take a, you heard it here, folks. If you, if you want to get sick, you take some poop and you put it in your eyeballs. <laughs> then you can't go to school, you can play Fallout. Yay! How could you see Fallout if you have poop in your eyeballs? I would say something else you can do is just go and try to eat your fist and make yourself throw up. You, you take your finger and you poke your uvula. You don't, you don't eat your fist. <laughs> Bath! Do it. Eat your fist. Eat your fist. Oh. You, Wow. That hurt real bad. You can go into the kitchen and you can throw up. And you walk in the, the kitchen, you're like, hi mom, and you just throw up on the floor. She'll think you're sick. It's true. Something else that you could do is you could just like get a bowl and put some cereal in it and some milk and then hide it in your room like overnight. And then in the morning when it's all soggy, get some in your hand and then go Rah! And it looks like you threw it up. <laughs> you were just gonna tell people to hide cereal in their rooms. <laughs> Why would you hide it with the milk? That'd be nasty. You don't tell people. <laughs> My saga cereal, they'll never find it. <laughs> it just lets smell real bad. No! The other thing you could go, Mom, I have an infected wound. <laughs> no one talks like that. Mom, I have an infected wound. <laughs> you don't just say, hey, I got a cut and it got infected. You don't, I have an infected wound. On my finger. She believe you, and then you can stay home. Why would she let you stay home from school if you have an infected finger wound? Why not just put some disinfectant on it and a band aid? Because you don't want to infect the children. <laughs> you could get a cactus. I was just about to say something about cactus. And you could poke yourself in the foot. If you want to hurt your foot, and you can go up and limp up to mom, say, Mom, I broke my leg. She'll say, How'd you break your foot? And you say, we're going to... Well, something else you can do is you can draw red dots on your face so it looks like you are infected. I'm sick. I'm not good. I'm sick. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> You're sick now. You're 
sick. You're sick now. Now you're sick. So you just draw red dots on your, you're on sick your face. Now. You draw red dots on your face, and it and then it's super convincing. Would you like to see how convincing it is? Is she sick? You have blood on you. Is she sick? What's that for? Mom, is she sick? You just have to say, am I sick? Are you sick? <laughs> so we it was super convincing, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Anyway, wasn't guys. Wasn't it convincing? It was super convincing. I, I'm Zen Spazin. Yeah. And, and is, it's Wyndham, your filthy Wyndham. casual. This is Wyndham. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>